Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday, happy new release day. Look at this, we got 2020 Prism Football coming at you. Six box, pick your team, number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these people right here. Thank you for getting in on the uh, Prism Hobby action. Chris Murphy with that last spot mojo. Green Bay Packers, and there's everybody else. Thank you for getting in. That's some pretty good stuff. Did I grab the right list? Yeah, that's the right list with Chris Murphy and the Packers last spot mojo. Prism 4. Now, let me actually flip back to the screen for a second. We've got a lot going on here. First of all, Jason did three. Three and four from the same case. So this is the second half of the case right there. All cards ship, which is great. And new inserts. Go hard or go home. Lockdown, all out inserts. We're looking for color blasts. There's, there's a color blast right there. We had, uh, we had someone in the chat say earlier, Cascade was saying, Color Blast Herbert popped out of uh, his box. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, let's, let's get going here. So there it is. Pick your team four. Knife is in my pocket. So Jason marked that four. Let's pop this baby open. Let's see what we got. We're looking at two autographs per box on average. Looking for snake skins. All right, here we go. Who, who do we have here? Who's watching? Who's in this break? Who's watching their break live? Darren, are you in this one? Darren's here. Oh, okay, I see you. You got the Seahawks. And remember, there can be points in here. I'll be randomizing the points as one lot to one person at the end of the break, if there's multiple. Name on top will get it. I think the other thing we're doing is we're actually sleeving all rookie cards. And obviously, I'll top load the uh, I'll top load Tua's, Burrows, and Herberts right away. But all rookies will be sleeved, and most of those rookies will be top loaded by our shipping team. So just keep that in mind as well. There you go, Ryan Murphy's here watching live. Titans and Packers. No, you have Titans, not Packers in this one. Oh, unless you're part of the same team. Chris Murphy, Ryan Murphy, same team? And then, uh, oh, Megan's here. Hi, Megan. Megan and Bruce in the house as well. All right, we've got a good crew here. So thanks for hanging. Thanks for watching. Is there a bit of a cleaner design on this? This year? I kind of like it. All right, we got Josiah Degura, Degura for the Green Bay Packers. So Team Murphy. Last spot mojo, silver rookie autograph on the board. And a couple of nice rookies right here too. Raekwon Davis, Justin Jefferson. We got the brilliance inserts right here. Those are pretty cool. Todd Gurley to 249. James Morgan and Jerry Judy. Nice. Robert Myhill's here. I see you with the Bills. Nice. Good luck. See if I could organize my piles like that. And, wow, and a silver rookie autograph, Jerry Judy, for the Denver Broncos. That's EA Sports. It's in the game. Nice one, EA. Whoa. I, I don't know, actually. I'm assuming you can. That There's J Jermichael Hasty to 99. Antonio Gandy Golden and Jalen Hurts. Some high school kid was ejected from the game, and then he ran back out on the field. 
and he uh, he tackled the ref. There's a nice Elaire in there too. Who has the Chiefs? David Frick with that Clyde Edwards Elaire rookie. We want to look for parallels. Obviously. There's a nice Joe Montana Silver. Darren Fells to 149. Nice Brandon Ayuk as well. The Red Wave Darren F King D. With that, that's uh, 149. And we got a Kenny Stills to 175 hyper. It's another one for King D. Josh Kelly going to the Bolts, of course. Megan with the Chargers. Looking for. Looking for the guy that hands the ball off to uh, Josh Kelly. We got Michael Gallup Orange to 249. Donovan Peoples Jones, Jalen Ragor. Michael Gallup Orange for Dallas, Oliver Smith. And we got Malcolm Butler. Green Scope to 75. Jeff Gladney, LaMichael P. Ryan. That's to 75. Titans, Ryan Murphy. There's Brady. AJ Hamler, Henry Ruggs the third, Brady for the Bucks, Scott Blackwell. Remember all all card ship. There's Andre Johnson to 125, Texans. Is this the first time we're seeing? This is Randy Moss's kid, Thaddeus Moss. Is Randy's kid? Are we starting to see? Is this the first time we're seeing his card? I feel like we don't see his card too often. We see Zach Moss, of course. No relation. There's Carson Wentz taking responsibility. There's Michael Pirine. Apparently his teammates like that. Let's see if they bounce back. There's Anthony Miller to 199. Blue Wave, Bears, Jonathan K. P. Ryan, Red Wave to 149 for the Jets. That'll be for Mark Bissett. And some rookies right here, Jason Huntley. Javon Kinlaw, good, what a playmaker. He's, he's pretty good. Quez Watkins and Antonio Gibson stock on the rise after that his Thanksgiving game. That's for Mark and the Washington football team. All right, so that was box one. All right. Box two here in Pick Your Team Four. Schedules in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. My Raiders play, playing the Jets this Sunday. A little nervous. No Josh Jacobs. No Cleveland Farrell. The Raiders coming off of uh, probably their worst game of the year. And that big loss to the Falcons. They just didn't get off the plane. A lot of turnovers from Derek Carr. A cluster of turnovers, which he's been pretty good about that. About not turning the ball over, but which just had a bad game. Jets are a hungry team. 
They don't want to go in 16. I'm a little nervous. I shouldn't be. But I am. Raiders can just do Raiders y things all of a sudden. Alright. Next box. We got KJ Hamler to 99 for the Broncos. Duvernay and Danucci. There's Ryan Kerrigan to 125 for Mark. And Blacklock and Chasen. There's Mahomes. There's Greg Zerline to 175. Cowboys edition, by the way. Akers and Michael Pittman Jr. And DJ Dallas and Jared Pinckney right here. Greg the leg. Cam Akers, Blue Wave, to 199 for the Rams. Jalen Johnson, A.J. Dillon. We haven't seen an autograph out of this box yet. Should be two. There's Mitch Trubisky, Dalvin Cook, to 249. Antoine Winfield and J.K. Dobbins. There's Paris Campbell, to 149. We need two autographs out of here. Sam with the Vikings. Dalvin Cook has been playing some excellent football. Bradley Ane, Anthony McFarlane Jr. There's Ross to 149. Ross Blacklock for the Texans, our first autograph. Texans, that'll be for King D. There's Grant Del Pitt, Damon Arnett for my Raiders. We've got a hyper Zach Bond to 175 for the Saints. That'll be for Chad. There should be one more auto out of here. And is that it? It's going to be Jalen Johnson. Silver Auto for the Bears. Jonathan. Got Marlon Davidson, Cole Komet. So we got our two autos. Let's see if we've got any. What is that? Is that a. Looks like a different color. Or maybe it's just orange. We're going to find out. There's Ricky Williams to 199 for the Dolphins. And oh, it's just orange. I thought it was going to be some sort of gold. Right there. There's Antoine Winfield Jr. to 249. And a couple more rookies right there. All right. Another box down. Another one to come.
break schedule in the chat, folks. Please consult that. All right, we're just after this box, we'll be halfway through this half case break. This is Quaker Team 4. Thanks, Oliver. Remember, the break schedule also also lists what we have done already. It'll list what we have done, what we are doing, and what we are about to do. And the brakes are just always pinned in the chat as well. Check the brake schedule, Josh Riley. It's all there. All that info. All right, next box, Clavon Chasen to 175. Jake Luton, Gabriel Davis. There's emergent two. We need to find a, a two of silver. It's to 199. John O. Smith, Titans. Here's the Clavon Chasen for the Jags. Does Flawless not have a checklist yet? Oliver's saying Cardboard Connection has a checklist for Flawless. I'll bet. You know what? It, it wasn't up last night. So there's a nice Chase Claypool right there. It wasn't up last night. So I imagine they just dropped it today, and then it'll take however long it takes group break checklist to get it on to group break checklist. But T. Higgins, LaVisca Chenault Jr., Alan Lazard to 249, Yater Gross Magos, and Eno Benjamin. Dan Marino Silver, Tyrod Taylor to 249. Patrick Queen, Neville Gallimore. Stephon Diggs for the Bills to 175. Isaiah Coulter and Colin Johnson. All right, okay, cool. Thanks, Oliver. <laughs> right, yes. That question makes me think that some places don't do that, Oliver. Maybe, maybe I'm the one that's wrong, thinking that it's a silly question. Are there other? Do the other guys? Are there other guys that like sell out stuff and then they don't break it that night? I understand that question if it's towards the end of the night. You know what I mean? I get that. But it's like when I first go on air. <laughs> and then someone's just like, hey, if it sells out. And there's like nothing on the schedule. And it's like, hey, does it sell out a break? And it's like, yeah, it will. Don't worry. It's going to happen. But there must be some places. There must be some places where they sell stuff out and not break it that day, which is why people ask that question, I think.
Uh, Grizzle, yes. I, Coppola, New Orleans Saints here in Pick Your Team 4. And there's Brian Edwards. I'd like to see Brian Edwards kind of, he was banged up a little bit, missed some time, but I'd like to see him get, get into the action a little more. No worries, Grizzle. No Saints yet either. I mean, maybe all card ships, or there must have been some Saints, but nothing autograph or uh, significant parallel wise. At least, not that I remember. Las Vegas Raiders, E8 with my Raiders. There's Darnell Savage, Jr. to 199. Blue Wave. There's Joe Burrow, our first Joe Burrow sighting for the Bengals. Matthew Shira. Nice. Big, Oliver just mentioned that, Big Rig. Yeah, CardboardConnection.com has. So if you're if you're wondering, hey, I don't want to buy this team because I don't know what's on the checklist, go to CardboardConnection.com. Base Joe Burrow going to Matthew Shira and the Bengals. Bought the Bengals straight up. I don't know why, uh, I don't know why it took Panini so long to get that checklist out. Ooh, look at this camo, Isaiah Simmons. 21 out of 25 for the Cardinals. Frank with the Cardinals. Does, does Phoenix have Cardinals there? The, the bird? Where do Cardinals, where do, where are Cardinals? I don't think I've ever, have I ever seen a Cardinal in my life? Hmm. I don't think I've ever, uh, no, it's all good, Big Rig. It is breaking news, though. It's important. I think people have been waiting for that checklist. There's T. Higgins Orange to 149. I don't think I've ever seen a Cardinal in real life. And uh, in my family, we used to, we we would go camping a lot. We're we're not we're not afraid of the outdoors. So I've done a lot of outdoorsing. I don't think I've ever seen a. I I have to have Ryan. I can say for certain, I've uh, blue jay. I've seen plenty of blue jays. There's Michael Stray on seventy five. A lot of blue jays, a lot of sparrows and ravens and crows and seagulls and sandpipers and there's Amari Cooper to 125 and falcons and hawks and red tail hawks and woodpeckers and I've seen all I've seen all those birds, but I don't know if I've seen we we have robins out here. We've got all pigeons, all sorts of birds. But I, I can't say it that I recall a cardinal. Big Rick's saying they're maybe more of a Midwest type bird. Grizzle has them in Connecticut. All right, halfway through this half case break. CJ has, has seen a cardinal, they're stunning. Definitely Midwest. All right, so maybe maybe it's not that crazy. Well, next time I'm in the Midwest, I'll go. Uh, I'll have to go. Um, I'll have to go birding for some uh, for some cardinals. It's the Virginia State bird. Yeah, Darren Porter is saying I, I I'm in Virginia. I see cardinals daily. And you feed them. What do you feed them? Like French fries, or do you actually give them like bird seed? Speaking of birds, you guys see that there was a there was a racing pigeon. I guess pigeon racing is a big thing in like China and like in the Netherlands or Belgium. I think they they raise they raise racing pigeon somewhere in Europe, and a racing pigeon sold for like. Like almost two million dollars or something like that. Isn't that wild? 
a racing pigeon. How large is... I don't have a concept of how large the Cardinal is. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Justin. Thank you. I don't know if I could repeat that. It's a family-friendly show, but... There's Anthony Gordon, Xavier McKinney. It's <laughs> pretty good. I don't think I have a concept of how large the Cardinal is. Darren and other Virginians. There's Demarcus Lawrence, orange. Another Joe Burrow. How large is the Cardinals? Fits in a bread box. So about, is it about the size of a prison box? A couple prison boxes maybe? There's Joe Burrow. Oh, it is about a blue, I see, I, I know the Blue Jay, so it's, it's about a Blue Jay size, got it. Wow, Big Rig had a music teacher in high school into racing homing pigeons. Yeah, that's a thing. You take them somewhere and you release them, and then time to see. I didn't realize how big of an industry this was until I saw the news about that pigeon being sold at a popular pigeon auction for over a million dollars. And now, now I'm thinking, man, that LeBron logo man doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> Pulling that LeBron logo man doesn't sound as cool when there are being when there are pigeons being sold for over a mil. There's Isaiah Coulter to 175. Wild. Pigeons. But, uh, and, and the racing apparently still a big thing in like Belgium or the Netherlands and in China and in some other places around the world, but it's a thing. Is wild. And apparently, um, GPS tags, I'm not going to lie, the dude was a little off his rocker, says Big Rig. And that pigeon will cash you out over and over. You're right. Are we? I think we're in the wrong business, you guys. There's Yannick Ngakwe to 25 for the Jaguars, Balraj with that. Because, right, that, that pigeon, you put that pigeon out to stud, I guess you would say. And that pigeon can produce so many other racing pigeons. Some of that pigeon's progeny sold at that auction for like $100,000. I think we're just going to have pigeon breaks from here on out. And that's where the money is, folks. There's Aaron Donald, purple. 125 but a pig that's true SV a pigeon could just fly away but your cards won't true Johnny what's eight what's eight to nine inches tall a pigeon there's Julian Oak uh, Oakwara for the Lions that's gonna be for Sam And that's to 49. So oh, apparently um, GPS tags are still too heavy for the pigeon. So they still have to tag them with like a little ring around their leg. So yeah, I went down a pigeon racing uh, rabbit hole. Pigeon hole? So I, I, and so they just release them en masse. And then there's like judges that are at, the, at their coop. There's to 175. There's Nikhil Harry, and then they're at their coop, and then they just time the they just time the hours, and then you just figure out how long that yeah I got pigeonholed there, and uh, you can see how long it takes them to get there, and then there people bet on it, and then you can win a ton of money. Ooh, nice Jordan Love, red wave. There you go, Evan. What's going on? 
Yeah, we got we got some of that flawless coming up. It's on the schedule. Nice Jordan Love, Jay Hart to 149. Kind of hard to see the number there, but 101 out of 149 for the Green Bay Packers, Chris Murphy. Nice. Last spot mojo strikes again. Sleeving up all the rookies, folks. And then I think most of them will be top loaded. There's George Kittle. To 199, AJ Dillon, Antoine Winfield. Oh, Johnny, you're talking about the Cardinal. I think you're. I think you're might be lagging behind a little bit, Johnny. Just want to hit that live button. There's Robert Woods, 249. Welcome to Bird Talk, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think we're changing our, our name to uh, from Jaspi Sports Cards and Collectibles to Birds and Breaks, which I suppose could mean something different in the UK. Adrian Amos to 75, Green Scope, Anthony McFarland Jr., and Grant Del Pitt, Kid Reporter card. Charlie Day is an expert on bird law. I'd like to think I'm an expert on bird law as well. I've done a lot of study. Michael Stewart, what's going on? All right, next box. Prism has been looking pretty solid thus far. I haven't pulled a, a, a monster name just yet. We did have a nice Jordan Love autograph. A couple Joe Burrows uh, base cards. But so far, so good. A lot of parallel chasing in this prism, so I think everyone's happy about that too. A lot of cards in here. Maybe I'll, I'll have to replace the train whistle with a uh, with some sort of some sort of caw -caw, caw -caw. Perhaps them's the breaks. I think someone has a, I think someone has a podcast called the breaks or them's the breaks or something like that. That is a, that is a hobby related. I don't think I've. I think there were a couple CD Lamb parallels, Randy. Maybe one or two. Nothing No autos. Nothing significant though in this half case break. Pick your team four. Oh, 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 them's the beaks. Okay, I like that. That's good. There's Austin Eckler, green scope to 75. Welcome to another episode of Them's the Beaks, where we do birds and breaks. So uh, thanks for wetting your beak with us. On them's the beaks. There's Peyton Manning to 125, and there's our first two of Tungo Vailoa going to Miami. Mike Samich with that one. Nice one, Samich. Hopefully, maybe we'll find some some Tua, some color, some auto, some ink, maybe. Nothing too monstrous yet, Reich, but we still have a couple of boxes to go. We have that nice Jordan Love Red Wave autograph, a couple of base burrows, base to uh, no Herbert yet. But 
but I mean all of these all these parallels and all these uh, base rookie cards all of these add up too there's Montez Sweat Sweat Claypool LaVisca Chenault Jr. AJ Epinesa, rookie silver, Aaron Jones to 249. T. Higgins, Nieder Gross Matos. We're getting there, folks. We're almost done. This rookie silver goes to the Bills. That'll be for Robert Myhill. These rookie silvers are always nice. And behind Brady is going to be Xavier McKinney for the New York Football Giants. So rookie autograph going to Chadwick and the Giants. Big blue, the G-Men. Can they win the division? I don't know, maybe if Daniel Jones didn't have that banged up hamstring this week. Damon Arnett, Red Wave for my Raiders to 149. Colin Johnson, Zach Moss. And we got DeAndre Swift, Detroit Lions. You know what? I read something, Sam, who has the Lions earlier today. I didn't realize how many former players openly praised the Patricia firing. Like Eric Ebron was like lols, and a couple other former players were like good riddance, blah, 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 blah. Just, you know, and usually players don't do that. So Patricia must have really been hated. So I wonder if, uh, if the current players are so happy that they're going to come out firing. And fired up. Lions at Bears. There's Josh Reynolds to one ninety nine. Bears are minus three, slight home favorites. And there's another base Joe Burrow for Matthew Shearer and the Bengals. Also, apparently, some Michigan lawmakers. Michigan lawmakers have implored the Ford family to hire, uh, who's the Niners? Def uh, defensive coordinator, Sala, I think, something Sala. There's Tyreek Hill to 249. Yeah, apparently he's from he's from the Michigan from the Detroit area. There's Darius Slayton, finite one of one. Wow, that's for Chadwick and the Giants. Nice. Chad, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice one of one. We've got some rookies here too. Oh, there's a Justin Herbert. I was just about to say, where's where's Justin? There you go, Megan. Chargers. Base Justin Herbert. But yeah, if uh, you know, Michigan lawmakers are like, hey, let's get that Sala guy. He's 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 got he's got the smarts. 
He's got the energy. He gets fired up on the sidelines. I've seen him. He's Tyree Kill to 249. So why not get him in there? And rebuild the Lions. All right, last box here. Figure team number four. More breaks coming up. And we've got late night tonight. Check out the schedule in the chat. Now, David T is saying, hey, game after the coach gets fired angle cashes most of the time. Yeah. There were two instances of coaches getting fired this year already. I think two, right? It was uh, the Texans fired... Uh, Blanking on his name. O'Brien. Texans won the game after that. And then the Falcons, I think, fired their coach. I'm blanking on his name, too. But the Falcons won the game right after that. Right, Atlanta versus your Vikings, yeah. So... And so, I don't know, maybe, maybe the Lions would be a good, like, plus, plus three? Or the money line, even? I mean, if Matt Patricia was just that hated, apparently there were stories in previous years where, where players would, would uh, after, during, during, like, their team, their last team meeting of the, of the football season, they would, uh, they, they would have mimosas because they would be celebrating not having to see Patricia until for another, until a training camp. There's Mark Brunel to 99. So yeah, I don't, I don't think he was, I don't think he was well liked. So the Lions might be really happy. They might have a, might have a pep in their step. There's Jared Pinckney to 149, Anthony Gordon, Xavier McKinney. There's another Joe Burrow, Derek Brown. Right, and you're playing, yeah, and the Lions are playing a divisional rival. And the Chicago Bears, you know, they want to, they want to get, the Lions want to get to five and seven. They want to get the Bears to five and seven. Another Joe Burrow for Matthew Shearer. Hopefully one of those grades out real nice. There's Josiah DeGuara to 175. Isaiah Simmons, DuVernay. Denzel Ward, Jeremy Chin to 249, Danucci and Ross Black. Is Nucci just done? I, I feel kind of I kind of feel bad for the guy. There's Bobby Wagner to 25. <laughs> the dude gets drafted like in the sixth or seventh round or something like that. Probably zero expectations of even playing at any point. Just gets kind of thrown into the fire. And then after one game, they're like, eh. <laughs> I would have given him a couple, a couple, a couple starts. That's it. Just one game. He's done, David. Poor Ben Denucci. If he didn't even play that game, he he could have probably been, he could have probably held a clipboard for a few more years. You know, live that NFL life for a few more years. There's Devin Bush. I think is Devin Bush out for the rest of the season, or am I thinking of someone else?
There's Devin Bush, Steelers, Mark Bissett. Yeah, this high school player who, like, tackled this ref. You can't do that, kid. You might kill that old, old ref. Fletcher Cox, 125. And we've got C.J. Henderson. Rookie autograph for the Jaguars. That's going to be for Balraj. By the way, that Devin Bush, did I say Mark Steelers? I think so. Mahomes Brilliance, J.J. Watt, Hyper to 175. We got J.K. Dobbins, Bradley Anay. We pulled our two autographs. Now we're looking for maybe some some parallels before we close things out for the for big rookies. Hopefully, Terrell Lewis to 199. Grant Del Pitt, Anthony McFarland Jr., J.K. Dobbins, Quentin Nelson. To 249, Damon Arnett for my Raiders and Jonathan Taylor Thomas for the Colts. And there you go, boys and girls. Pretty solid break here in pick your team number four. Plenty more on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Here's a quick uh, autograph recap, right? Autograph and Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert recap. And one of one recap. There's Darius Slayton. Nice swift. Jordan Love was nice. More Burrows. The Camel Refractors are pretty sweet. My guy Brian Edwards. Jerry Judy Silver Rookie was nice. This turned out to be a pretty nice break. DeAndre Swift, especially without uh, without Matt Patricia, you know, would we'll, might see his stock go up. So there you go. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that was the brand new release, Prism Football. We'll see you next time for the next break for lots more. Bye-bye.